Hey guys, this is Vishup Gang and in this video we are going to talk about the things you should be doing and the things you should be avoiding uh, when you have your CA, CA, CMA examination. Uh, so let's get started. Um, the first thing uh, which I uh, actually discussed with my sister and uh, this thing actually is the number one thing is please uh, stop cursing uh, ICAI or whichever institution you are examining you have you are giving your examination in um, regarding they don't give marks they fail people uh, or regarding the big course they have with your family and friends at times they may give you sympathy as well but they, but in the end it's you who is gonna fail so please stop cursing them and start working start studying do not waste your time second thing uh, please do not hold useless grudge and uh, and please do not keep them in mind for example you have a, you had a fight with your parents with your sibling or with your girlfriend or with your boyfriend so uh, if anything like that happens with you uh, please uh, think it for half a minute or one minute and though please then throw it from your mind because this thing will keep going in your mind again and again and it actually happens with every one of us daily so please don't uh, held any hold any grudge it will actually help you in uh, living a more peaceful life uh, if you don't uh, you uh, hold these grudges and all and uh, it will actually uh, what we say it will make your mind more uh, effective effective and efficient uh, next thing if you're studying for both groups maybe AP, uh, maybe intermediate level or final level if you are decided prior to the three months that you will give both groups then please stick to it do not come to single group I have seen many people, uh, many uh, friends of my sister have actually, uh, they started uh, with the idea that they will give both groups and in the end they were giving only, uh, they only gave one group and they failed it. So what, so what was the outcome? You didn't even got the experience of giving the second group. Okay. Second thing you failed. If you give both the groups, there are some chances at least that you can get an exemption in any of the subject or at least you will get the experience. Okay. And uh, uh, quitting or giving up is uh, seriously no choice for students of CA, CA, CMA or whichever course you are enrolled in because our examination is professional examination. These are one of the hardest examinations in the countries, in, the, in our country and uh, quitting is not an option. Uh, next thing, uh, please, uh, the book which you are studying your main matter, for example, um, theory subject like law. If you are studying for Manish Bhandari, please do not use any other book. Uh, the main matter I am talking about if you want to study some past examination questions or any type of uh, you are if you have to study questions then you can prefer other sources but uh, the main matter the main theory or the main practical questions you should be doing only from one source next thing if you don't get the time to solve mock papers and all um, please um, in the in the final month uh, write approximately half an hour uh, of theory uh, answers you can pick a question from RTP or you can pick a question from the mock paper issued by ICAIE for every attempt or from any past examination. So pick one or two questions from uh, any paper and uh, write it for approximately half an hour daily so that you get the habit of writing theory, uh, theory in the exam so that you will be comfortable in writing theory. I've seen many people uh, who are uh, who actually don't when, even when the paper is small, they are not able to complete it on time. Reason being, they don't uh, have the practice of writing theory answers. Okay, so uh, next advice would be, uh, if time is less and you want to cover some chapters or topics, uh, it is recommendable that you do the, the past examination questions or listen to their audio notes. At least do this thing if you are leaving any chapter. The, uh, I have done it in uh, many subjects like SM uh, and I actually... Um, a question came of seven marks when I uh, just heard its audit notes. So it actually is very helpful if you leave any chapter, do the audio or the past examination question. Uh, if uh, your first paper uh, goes bad, uh, it actually uh, is very uh, normal. I've seen in the May 17 attempt only, uh, many of my friends, uh, their accounts paper uh, went very bad and uh, due to that, it didn't give their f uh, following papers nicely. And the thing which happened with them was that they got the highest marks in accounts because the ICI gave lenient uh, marking in accounts and in the rest paper they failed. So please do not uh, do things like this. If your paper goes uh, bad, uh, this is an advice from my sister as well. If your paper goes bad, uh, my paper also went a little bad of accounts though I scored uh, 77 marks because the checking was done nicely. So if your paper uh, goes bad of any subject, go to home, sleep 
sleep for how many hours you want 3 hours 4 hours and then when you wake up forget that you had a paper that day and then start studying for the next paper okay uh, next thing is uh, when the going gets stuffed up gets going that's our that's how our body has been made when a uh, uh, trouble situation come uh, or a situation which has many troubles in it our body actually uh, makes lots of adrenaline it actually uh, increases our concentration level and uh, you will actually uh, see in the last time my sister also told me uh, ki in the last time in the last month or even day before examination your performance will automatically increase just keep this thing in your conscience that in the la- uh, if even even if i am not doing good now in the last time i will do good okay this will actually uh, keep you motivated and uh, thus you will be able to score good marks and you will be able to study nicely uh, next thing if you get ill i see many people who say i don't use medicines and all they are they are, hampers my immunity and all so if you have any friend of uh, friend which have the same mentality or if you or if you are the person who have the mentality to not use medicines please forget it in the last 3 months if you get ill please take medicines as soon as possible the prescription from uh, obviously the prescription which have been given from uh, from your medicine uh, practitioner and get fit as soon as possible for example if you get um, maybe cold and cough start uh, taking the medicine from the day one so that, so that you can get fit uh, as soon as possible because the motive now is to pass your exam rather than protecting your immunity um, to pass any exam you need a peaceful mind and a peaceful mind is only when you are healthy so if you are not healthy please take medicine fast and get a peaceful mind because that's the way you are going to pass your examination next thing um if you when you whenever you are going to examination please use this uh, clipboard thing which you, which uh, we students used to carry when we were in uh, primary school or 7th 8th class and i have seen uh, many people who say me ki rishab are you a kid you are carrying this clipboard and all so uh, please do not uh, listen to those kind of uh, people uh, the reason you should be carrying your clipboard is uh, the examination sen- center ICA AI is going to give you you don't know how uh, the tables are going to be there if the table is not flat you are going to experience lot of problem so better to carry a clipboard uh, which will actually uh, be a flat surface and you will be able to uh, write your answers much better then uh, ca- carry many pens 5 to 10 pens i have seen people who carry only two pens and they say ek kharab ho gaya to main dusra use kar lunga that's not a like you are giving a professional exam why take risk in carrying pens you can afford to buy 10 pens of 5 rupees so please do that next thing uh, please always carry two calculators i say carry a calculator even in your theory subjects like law bcb or audit you may not know icm may give a very normal uh, divide question in a <laughs> law bcb where you have to divide and all and you will do it wrong so better carry a calculator in theory subjects as well and in practical subjects please carry two calculators i recommend carry two calculators in every paper reason being i have seen people jinke uh, who drop their calculator from their bench of uh, companies like clitlizen citlizen i will show you this one uh, you see the spelling clitlizen okay these calculators are very bad in quality but we have the habit of using them so that's the reason uh, you should be carrying two of them at least <laughs> in your examination uh, two is okay uh, so if one uh, fails to perform in the exam the second one will be at your rescue okay and uh, please avoid asking uh, these calculators in all from your friends during the examination okay uh, and uh, next thing which is the last thing um, for you in this video please use the pen which you have used while solving while practicing in your um, preparation time the same pen you should be using in your exam time uh, because you know uh, you will be able to write much better and faster i hope this video was uh, at least uh, a little helpful to you uh, if you like the video please um, give it a thumbs up if you uh, like the channel you, um, you can subscribe the channel for uh, the updates uh, for whatever video i upload and it actually motivates me to uh, more uh, to bring more content like this and last thing if you like the uh, channel you can uh, sub- uh, share it with your ca friends uh, so it will help them also you see um, जितने लोगों की ज़्यादा मदद करोगे उतना आपका अच्छा होता है इस बात को मैं बचपन से मानता हूँ 
तो प्लीज डोंट बी सेल्फिश इफ यू लाइक द थिंग यू कैन शेयर इट सो थैंक यू गाइज फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो दिस इज विशअप गांग साइनिंग ऑफ